also enables you to get money credit into your mobile money account. Increase those tickets as many times as you can. And I always love Kim Paluta. Uh, it's always important. And of course, without many things, it cannot uh, move the world if you don't have it. So if you want to move the world, certainly it means that you have, let me say good morning to a couple of you who have already joined us on our stream. And uh, please make sure when you join us on the stream, you share the stream. Uh, let's have some great conversations uh, coming up soon let me say good morning to you roja agongo who has joined us ibrahim i would do good morning kwesi mensa watching us from the united states of america and kwesi usually where do you watch us from massachusetts or or worcester or where mm -hmm. so i don't know and then also Oko abraham please share the stream kwesi has also joined our kwesi panel good morning to you and uh, usman Moha mahmoud as well as um, the rest of the team, Imold and Nassar and the rest. Please make sure you share the stream. Let me say uh, a, a, a big thank you to all those who have joined us this morning. As you cash out, please know that we have some great guests in the studio. Kofi Ameyao is one of the leading spokespeople for the DMB 2024 It's a Possible team. And uh, Kofi is here. Kofi, good morning to you. Good morning, Roland. How are you? Great. And Okay. Yes, it has been. It has been. Last I think we met our nah. two weeks or three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great to have you back. Me too. It's okay. good to be here. It's good to be on TV3, though. Anytime you are out there, I saw you on TV3. On TV3. It's good. Okay. okay. All right. It, it, it's great. Uh, when you boycotted, it was uh, Solomon and the oh, team who were... Oh, come on. Yeah, it's too early. Solomon, good morning to you, I'm Solomon Owusu. How are you? Fantastic I'm, communicator. I'm I kept wondering well. why, when you were in the MPP, you were not used to communicate and propagate the good things of the government. the communication to Kofi and Co, who are propagating wrong ideology of the new patriotic party, feeding their people with <clears> bad information <throat> about the UP tradition. Your movement for change um, leader, presidential candidate as yeah. well, yeah. was there, you know, blasting former President Kofi for endorsing Dr. Mahmoud about He didn't blast him. He we'll, only stated it. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that. Sam George. Sam Jata George. Sam Nate George. Member of Parliament for Ningo Prime Prime is right here. And uh, he's in a uh, campaign gear. Always. How are you? Mongo. Where are you going next? Mount Romania Oh, okay. Mount Romania Samina. Inga Samina. Well, I'm interested. Inga, 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 no fiano. Inga, no fiano. Do you want to sell us here? No. Inga, Inga, no fiano. Dem. Yeah. Mount Ne, Egba, or Ne, Eha Ne, Tu Injo Ne, Banga Wa Ma Mi Ne, No Yam Ken. No, Ni Chung Papa. Ne Jo Ma Mangela Ne Ba Pinga Gana Ma Mi. Mount Ne Wale Ne Eba Hisano. No. Uh, I'm just saying that I'm greeting, I'm, I'm greeting everybody, I'm greeting everybody and wishing everybody a very good morning yes. and asking for God's blessings upon our nation yes. and asking that God should grant John Mahama health and long life yes. and strength yes. to come and do the good work he wants to do for the people of God. So you are not asking God's blessing for Alan Chavati? Why Alan Chamantin is a Togolese? They are not just ask for God. But why did you single out John Mahama anyway? Alan Chamantin, when, when they give you the chance, has been he's responding to the former president, <laughs> John Ejekunkufo, who clearly endorsed Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. He is the candidate um, for the ruling New Patriotic Party. Indeed, as far as my monitoring is concerned, has been undertaking extensive campaigns in the Ashanti region, I believe, over the last three weeks. And if you take a look at the the message and, and, and what he's been telling the voters, very succinct there as well. But this is what he's been saying. He's the best person for him. I'm challenging President Kofo. Sir, what I'm saying. I'm saying. Also, who judge you be tea? Yeah, yeah, a nipper means my fans a three top penny. Anna would ye a to a yeso, senior, sort of. Dear Joanna, bow me a year before. Also, coffin by who so could read the paper be with baby, Anna, so no nasmara, and no na ye genaso. A debacca said, depend with the president. First word, Waba Bemo, my minister. Yeah. Under your government, so I say, I'm saying that me, me, Baba, your minister, no plan, no plan, no. On one case, my wealth, so I say, President Kufuor, I'm saying me, Baba, your minister, so now, oh, person, oh, now, super, super, case, we name Alan wealth, and we name a Juma Maya, 
Such as S1 and a million means to be cautious. I you was here and don't make me because of a comedy that I told you. You make and tell you make up or more to be cassette or what a bam seventy per cent or even more mm -hmm. of the policy in your area. Oh, I see. Or come over there on fancy and let me hear me say, I said, or cook cassem and my fame go for attack on. And so, somebody will ask, why is it that your presidential candidate is on this blasting spree, so to speak? Uh, good morning to you and your cherry viewers. Uh, let me say that uh, Alan Chamante is poised for a massive victory come December 7th. Uh, my candidate, Alan, did not blast former president, uh, John Ejokoku, for. He only sought to critique his judgment. Why? Why? Because only a couple of days ago, we came here critiquing the judgment of the Supreme Court on the case. What it means is that nobody in this country is above critique. President Kufu made a judgment that of the 12 candidates contesting for the presidency of this country, he sees or views Dr. Mahmoud Baumia as the, pres uh, as the one suitable to, to taking us out of our current predicament. Now, my candidate comes here and says, well, I disagree. Based on what? This is a simple thing that any serious candidate that wants to be the president of this land must do. That based on what are you saying that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is better than me? It's as simple as that. This is but, but so look, Alan Chamante is no a mean person to the former president. Yes, and that is why it is very important that we set the record straight. Because former president uh, Kufo knows Mr. Alan Chamante very well, and he knows... Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. So if you are saying that Roland is better than me, there must be a foundation. What is the basis? What, what reason did the new patriotic party, based on what did the new patriotic party, even selected Dr. Mahmoud Baumia as the running mate? They went to, to a post. Which, first of all, before he joined the new patriotic party to be the running mate, why did the party settle on him? The, the candidate then, uh, Nana Kufuado, told the whole world that the city has been hata, hata, hata. You remember that phrase? I do. That the city had been had at that time, the city to the dollar was one is to 4.2. Again, he himself, Baumia, had told the world that he knew so much about economics to the extent that he was always doing what we call uh, inflation exchange rate, uh, uh, interest rate analysis, telling us that given the opportunity, he would stabilize this economy. At the time he was doing that, inflation in 2016 was 15.4. We were buying a liter of diesel, by extension, a gallon of diesel for only 14 cities. And I believe that these economic indicators were worse in 2016. So if you got the opportunity to be the running mate, and you were handed with the economic management of this country, and as we speak, the city to the dollar is 1 to 17, on what basis would the former president, John, uh, John Ejokunfufo, come and tell the whole world that this person who has led us from 1 to 4.2 to 1 to 17 is better than the rest? You didn't listen to the former president the first time when they were launching, said that uh, he had listened to so, a lecture, a so, book that was even written, or his research paper, and was so impressed yeah. that it was even under him that they had to bring him to the Bank of Ghana to make sure that was undertaken. First of all, former That's a good accolade. First of all, former President John uh, John for missed the opportunity of being the father of this country. He missed a glorious opportunity. Yeah, he missed. You, you mean know, he goofed? Yeah, he goofed. The first time he made this endorsement was on the 7th of February 2024, when the the uh, the uh, the, uh, the of the MPP, Dr. Mahmoud Bavanya, was doing what we call bold solution presentation. At that time, he said, Dr. Bavanya was the man of destiny. We did not take him on because we felt that it was an MPP political activity. And he was speaking to political party fanatics. And so what was our business going into the details of what he said? Indeed, he, the second time he endorsed Dr. Uh, Mahmoud Baumia was just two weeks ago with Asempa Obi. It did not fly. This time around, the reason why we decided to, to take him It did him not on, fly? I did not. It was just a waste of everybody's time. And my sister and I had done to did a better rendition of him when he dis she dismantled everything that former President John Ejekunfu did. Indeed, this time around, my candidate decided to take him out to critique what he had done because be some three hours to the program, we were sitting out somewhere and there was a flag going around saying that 
Kufo speaks to the nation. If you tell me Kufo speaks to the nation, what you are trying to tell me is that now he is going to remove his MPP colors for, from his sleeves and then address us as a, as a statesman. So you all decided to have, listen to what you, he had for us, only to try to dabble into something that indeed he was not even speaking the truth. The truth of the matter is that when you compare competence, Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya can't know when yeah, it's not even close. It's not even Are you when, sure? it is not even close. Go to me today and everywhere that he can come closer to uh, John Alan Kojo Chibante. Life before uh, uh, politics, life in politics, and so on and so forth. He doesn't come nowhere near. So this fact is very much known to the former president. So why has an elderly person would you come and stand before the nation and speak an uh, pedal on uh, obvious on truth? Pedal on truth? On truth. This is an untruth. Uh, and we disagree. How has the Baumia campaign received this? Just e extreme backlash straight away coming from Alan Kojo Chamante himself. Roland, good morning. Mo 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 morning, Kofi. And good morning to your good um, viewers and um, also to Honorable Sam George. It's been a while. And, yeah. um, and so look. Um, you see, personally, I think this raving and ranting by the uh, leader of the movement for change, uh, Alan Kojo Chematin, is a needless distraction that the MPP we don't need. You call what he's saying concerns he's raising, raving and ranting. Let That's complete disrespect to him. No, it's not. It's not. Clearly, what you played is it's just it's just a manifestation of somebody who is ranting and raving about an obvious endorsement, an endorsement that goes to the core of the actual issues. And what are the issues? Okay, what President Kufour said is not something that is new. He has said that before, and both of you have agreed that February um, 7, 2024, um, when Dr. Mahmoud Baumia was outlining his vision for this country after being elected by the new Patriotic Party's delegates as the leader and flag bearer of the MPP, former President John Ajikun Kufour the same statement he made some few days ago is the same thing that he made th th that same time. Okay, the excuse is while well, he was addressing party faithful. But that platform, the party was also addressing the nation. So for me, if Alan had anything to say, he should have said it then. But that's not the point. The point is that President Kufour has assessed all the candidates and has come to the bold conclusion that Dr. Mahmoud Dubaumia stands tall among these individuals. That does not mean that none of them have played any role in our political, I mean, development or our national development. No, they have all fantastically played their roles. But he's saying, looking at the situation in which Ghana find themselves and looking at how the Which world... situation? Oh, first of all, let me, let me land on that. Looking at how the world is moving, we missed out on the Industrial Revolution as Africans because at the time when the rest of the world were industrializing, we were being colonized, we were, you know, taken from our continent as slaves. Now we are in the fourth revolution, industrial revolution, which is led by technology. And if there's an individual who can lead this fight, then it's His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Dubaumia. And that's the point he was making. And then he went on to say that when you look at the economic situation in which we find ourselves, if there's any individual who has the world with them to be able to more or less res rescue us and bring us back to a trajectory of good economic fortunes, then the experience of Dr. Mahmoud Dubaumia is really needed. He mentioned the fact that the economy now is not, of course, what we all expect it to be. Clearly, there's a reason for that. And that reason is being expressed and was even doubled down by the former president, John Dramani Mahama, when he went to Cambridge, Harvard University, to speak to the African Business Devo uh, Development School, African students, um, uh, business students, where he made it clear that according to the Economic Committee of Africa, there's an indication that the pandemic indeed affected global economy, including that of Ghana. So when you look at when we first assume office, our economic performances, we were doing better to the extent that it was a global acclaim. Our uh, gross domestic product, GDP, was one of the fastest in the world. We promised the good people of Ghana that there were some nuisance taxes that we will abolish or we remove, and indeed we did that. When you look at our economic indicators within the four years that we were in office, first four years, 
we did far better than any government in the Fourth Republic. You didn't listen to Alan Kojo Chairman. I'm making a point. Clearly, clearly indicting the competence of Dr. Mahmoud Dubamia. The competence of Dr. Mahmoud Dubamia politically, and as far as being a vice president, it's clear for everybody to see. That is why I am giving you the antecedent, the history. Something happened to this economy, and that is why we find ourselves where we are. But we move past that. The, the, the fact of the matter is that he has a demonstrable record that indicates that when it comes to the management of the economy, at least look at the first four years of MPP without any global pandemic. In any case, you talk about Dr. Mahmoud Dubaumia vis-a-vis the economic performance now. When did uh, Alan Chamartin leave the MPP or the government? I, I don't understand. Years, he was the chairman of the economic committee of cabinet. Which one is that? Alan Chimatin, he, he was what? The chairman well, which one is of... He was, he was the chairman of what? He was the chairman let, let me write of the economic down. committee <laughs> of Nanado, Ekufado's cabinet. So that means that when they go, all the economic committees or the, the EMTs, okay, they sit together, the ministers sit together. So wait, so, so Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is chair of the economic management team. team. <laughs> and then as a subcommittee, we have an economic... It's not a subcommittee. When you come to cabinet, okay? So, when the, so the cabinet committee on what? Economy. It was being chaired by Alan Kojo Chemati. Hey. So and, and Alan was a member of the He was the also a member of, of the economic money. So and when, then Dr. Mambo was chairing it. Yes. But when it, you come to cabinet, that's where So what are you saying? That both of them or are good no, no, or are not good? Let me explain to you. So allow me to explain. So we have the economic management management team. That more or less bring together all the economic ideas together. Then do come to parliament, um, cabinet, okay, and then finally cabinet will decide on it. And that committee, economic committee in cabinet, that supervises all the uh, uh, economic ideas of the administration. The chairman of that committee is Alan Kodoche Martin. So if there are any fallout of in the economy, you cannot, you cannot escapate. Alan Chemartin from what we are going through now. But that's beside the point. That's why I said uh, So that. you are saying that the concerns that have been raised worldwide, as well as in-country, and even by key stakeholders within the voter population, that the economy has tanked or dipped. We should blame both Dr. Mahmoud Baumia no, and Alan Chemartin. It was Chemati. in response to what Solomon said, okay, that we should put all the blame on Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. And Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has said he take collective responsibility for what has happened. And that uh, collective responsibility, I am yet to hear from the Alan team or Alan himself admitting same, but he has not done that. Okay. But no, to conclude on this matter, let, let me repeat once again that we in the MPP, we are focused on our elections. We believe that our policies and our programs it's 17 are 17 days to that election, no? Yes, no worry. We believe strongly that our policies and our program will find favor with the good people of this country. And indeed, they will vote for us. So for me, what he's doing clearly is, is, is a revelation of his bitterness as a result wait, of wait, his, no, own, no, no. his inability to lead the MPP because he was not able to mobilize the party and governize the party. Alan is bitter, rally, eh? Of course, clearly. Uh, sometimes, I mean, watching the spectacle, what do you make of this? Because you've been also crisscrossing campaigning as well. Well, when the elephant and the butterfly are fighting, the umbrella is cruising to victory. I mean, um, let's call a spade a spade. Baumia is the worst thing to happen to Ghana's economy. You forget anything President Kufo says. I have respect for President Kufo, but clearly President Kufo is not being objective. Um, and we would have taken President Kufo's words very seriously if at the time that pensioners like him, he's fortunate, the state pays all his bills. Um, if, but unlike the majority of Ghanaians whose bills are not paid and whose medical bills and light bills and water bills and travel care and stuff are not taken care by the taxpayer, mm. he, President Kufo, has that taken care of. When people like Kama, of blessed memory who died of a broken heart a few weeks ago because his life investment of over 40 years had been dissipated and brought to trash by the failure of Baumiana Kufuado. President Kufu was quiet. We have not seen President Kufu speak on the hardship Ghanaians have had to face in the last two years because of the domestic debt exchange program. We've not heard President Kufu speak on members of his own political party, the NPP, being involved in Galamse and destroying water for his grandchildren and children. 
President Kufo has been silent. So to hear President Kufo today wake up and tell us that Baumia is the best thing to happen to Ghana since Ben's bread, I mean, we can't take it seriously. Now, he's been a former president, so Sam George. I haven't taken that away from him. The fact that he's been a former president doesn't... So he has the experience and can identify who is good, who is not. Oh, no. He's not using... that. That's not the yardstick he's using. He's using NPP, elephant. Simple. And I'm saying that whether it is the elephant or the butterfly, because... Wait, what, how are you calling me? Butterfly. How, butter what? The uh, measure of the butterfly. No, how can you do that? Or the butterfly. Fantastic. Okay. Yes, butterfly or elephant. Yeah, that is the butterfly, butterfly. Elephant. Or elephant. elephant. Umbrella. A, a Umbrella. butterfly that has transmogrified from an elephant to the elephant itself. Look, today, mm. they are both sitting here. Mm. And this one says, Baumia is, 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 is worse. And this one says, Alan is bad. Oh, Baumia is head of economic management team. Alan was head. Alan Chamantin cannot divulge himself from the mess of the Baumia Akufuado government. He was part of it for seven years. Now we are told he was head of cabinet economic team. Baumia himself, who has admitted that he's a mate, a mate has absolutely no value when it comes to the steering of the affairs of a state. Okay. Look, we are in a critical situation where we need a level head, a trusted hand. Like Alan has asked President Kufo, what is Baumia's track record? Look, everybody keeps talking about, oh, and Baumia was something, what, 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 at the Bank of Ghana. Are you telling me Polakwa was sleeping? I don't understand. Baumia was not was governor. Was deputy governor. Wait. Baumia was not governor. He was deputy governor. Baumia is vice president. He's not president. Is Baumia not telling us today? That as vice president, he has not had the power to do all the magical things he, he needs to do. Meanwhile, you see the logic? Because he was number two, he's number two. Mm -hmm. He's not had the power to do all the things he has to do. Mm -hmm. Then when you flip it to Polakwa's time, when he was number two, that one, the Polakwa was useless. It was Baumia who was vice gov deputy governor who did everything. Baumia is a man who speaks from both sides of his mouth. He's a dishonest and truthful how can, you, how, can, how can you make those conclusions? Did Baumia not promise you a Ghana Post GPS? And you see, when God wants to kill you, he makes you mad first. Baumia is the same person who came with the tagline, Jack, where are you? Ghana Post GPS, Jack, where is it? Is it not Baumia who told us he launched the COVID app with, with Esla Usu? What did the COVID app tracker do for us? What did he do? Look, Baumia has been all over the place claiming all kinds of things. Baumia is the one who promised one, one constituency $1 million. Baumia, <clears throat> where is that money? Today we should have $8 million in Ningo Pram Pram. When you ask them, they point to an eight-seater toilet, toilet facility. Eight-seater toilet facility because for I was $8 just million. About to ask you, do you know it's for, managed oh, by massa, the massa, massa, development massa, authorities? Massa. $8 million, eight-seater eight toilet facility. So it means one toilet is $1 million. That's Baumia's track record. Is that an honest person to you? Baumia is the one who stood in Cape Coast. It wasn't Kufo. It wasn't Nanado. It wasn't Alan Chemante. It was Baumia who stood in Cape Coast and promised the people of Cape Coast an airport and a harbor. Where is it? Where is the airport? Where is the harbor? How can you take Baumia seriously? Baumia is not an honest man. He's a dishonest and truthful politician who must not be taken seriously at any stretch. Look, when Baumia greets you good morning, you look up and check to see if the sun is up because most likely the moon is up. You cannot take Baumia. Look, Baumia is the man who told us that when the fundamentals are weak, the exchange rate will expose you. He said that at the time that the exchange rate was four cities to one dollar. Now, when the exchange rate got to 18, because the time he went to do that is a, a, a media thing at PIWC where Alan and uh, 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 Professor Jambuati, Bafo and Co were sitting there laughing at him. They were laughing at him when you watch the video. Well, it was just a video. They were laughing. Ah, but it was just a video. But if they were laughing, you, at you read people's video, gestures and then I, you decided I, to I, make I those conclusions. I didn't say they said. I said they laughed. Why well, did you not see them laughing in the video? So uh, they were laughing at Baumia because uh, <clears throat> Baumia was sweating like a pregnant fish under air condition after delivering a lecture. Look, what did Baumia say? Oh yes, it's true that I said when the fundamentals are weak, the exchange rate will expose you. But it does not mean that now when the exchange rate has gotten wrong, the fundamentals are weak. Do you understand me? <laughs> that is that is 
ugly laughter. Look, we are, we are looking for a serious level-minded person to lead this country. And, 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 and we're not interested in blame games over who has messed the economy up, whether it is Alan, Alan saying it is Baumia or Baumia saying it is Alan. We are interested in the fact that today, and look, you know what I do in my constituency now? I tell people, let mm. us not even... Oh, I'm wrapping up. Why are you the timekeeper now? I'm just calling you Roland. Are you the timekeeper now? But, Coffee, but you, you were saying... Timing. Coffee, you were saying what? You're holding his watch. Oh, well, I'm waiting. My time will continue reading. I hope you've passed my time. Good. You have two minutes to end. Thank you. Look, this same... I, I tell people, forget Mahama's record. Hmm? Look at Nanado and Baumia's record. When Nanado decided he's no longer running... Look, a president is always... Active in his first time. You haven't seen fly oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Let, me, let me make the point. Inaugurated and all that. After Nanado won his second term, he began his plan of handing over to Baumia. So he decided to sabotage everybody in his government for Baumia to emerge. In January 2021, the city, after Nanado had finished his first term, I'm not talking of NDCU. January 2021, after Nanado's first term, the city was 6.2 to the dollar. When they handed over free range to the mates to try run the country, we are at 17 to the dollar today. When when but when Nanado you know, oh, oh, who can, handed to who? When Nanado when? when Nanado won his second term in 2021, a bag of cement was 35 Ghana cities. It was 20 cities under Mahama. Forget the first four years of Nanado. When Baumia became her apparent and took over the reins of government, it has gone to 120 Ghana cities. So Nanado moved. CD from 4 to 6.2 when he was fully in charge. When he decided that Baumia should start practicing to take over, Baumia moved it from 6.2 to 17. Nanado moved cement from 20 cities to 35 cities. When Baumia took over in 2021 as doing trial run, as mates, he's moved it to 120 Ghana City. Look, Baumia is a colossal disaster. He's a failure of what they call an economic whiskey. When his wife said he was an economic whiskey, she, <clears throat> she misspoke. She meant he was an economic scammer. Baumia is a shame and a disaster. Baumia will be studied in economics classes for the next four generations on how you take a healthy economy and destroy it. Ghana cannot be entrusted into the hands of Solo such an Roland. incompetent human being. So, oh, Roland, why? So, 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 Roland, 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 let me respond. Solo. Oh, Roland, come Solo. on. Solo. Solo. Is that your topic? Solo. What do you mean that my topic? There are key considerations <laughs> that need to be made. Yes. And if you take a look at some of the key things that the before. former president mm -hmm. espoused, mm -hmm. it also means that the country is in difficulties. We know that it's from an MPP administration to a, to another MPP administration that he's advocating. Yes. It, but the question will be, who, who brought us to where we are? Is it because of Russia and Ukraine as always? No, I mean, if you don't tackle the fundamentals, you always go back to Russia, Ukraine situation. If an economy that is dependent on gold and cocoa for several years, you don't expect to do anything meaningful. That's why I always come here and tell you that the only way out as, as a country is to focus on the great transformation plan by diversifying the base of this economy, introducing new areas like petrochemical, salt, agriculture, and so on and so forth. That is the only way we can be raking in a lot of forex to be able to deal with our current And Alan situation. remains the man? No, no, he remains the man. And mm -hmm. Let me deal with certain things. Look, let me make an emphatic statement here that Alan is never bitter, has never been bitter. If he was that bitter at that tender age, he wouldn't have led the Young Executive Forum to build a new patriotic party, for which reason my brother Amir here is enjoying from it. How can he be bitter when men, those days that men, were all of them were afraid of Jerry Rollins, it was Alan that was leading the onslaught. If mm -hmm. Alan is bitter, you know, remember in 1996, the same president go forward that today, he wanted us to take his words as the, the, as the gospel truth. He had to beg Alan for not, not to contest him as a flag bearer of the MPP. Why? Because he saw Alan as a threat. He had to go and see Apia Minka and Donko Fonjo and beg them that Alan would just de depose him. And he has suffered so much in politics and that if they do not talk to Alan, Alan would, would, would just make his work or sweat in this world in vain. Again, he is talking about the fact that Alan has... Uh, uh, ca cabinet subcommittee. Yes. Well, I mean, these people went... And when, that Alan Chermanty is also complicit so with the difficulties all, that the president... You see the... Uh, in, former president talk about. Inconsistencies in his delivery. First of all, he claims that the first four years of NBP's administration, 
so good. And by which, we, uh, if I'm going by what he said, that means Alan was the one who was in charge of all the goodies. Let me tell you, there is nothing like cabinet subcommittee on economic management. The only economic management team we have is the one that is headed by Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. And you know why we are where we are? Look, Alan brought a policy, uh, 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 like, um, uh, what's the name? One district, one factory. One district, one factory that was supposed to create more factories to absorb the teaming you two are unemployed. This government looks straight to, uh, into Alan's face and invested less than 500 million Ghana cities. And guess what? Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, who was the head of economic management team, got 2.4 billion cities. And it, it, who told you this? Oh, it is in the budget. He invested it in mm -hmm. what you call NAPCO, Nation Builders Co. And guess what? He says he was paying graduates 800, 700 cities a month. My checks, and I've dared them to produce the list of the 100,000 people that they, were, they claimed they were paying. He, 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 he scalped this country into believing that he was paying 100,000 people. Apparently, 4,600 people were being paid. You, you are saying scam. I'm telling, say scam. No, no, no. That's why he scam. So that I'm going to address his issues with regards to NDC very soon. So, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has no modicum of idea to develop this country. Look. Of all the candidates vying for the position of presidency, I dare you, and I'm, I am challenging the Ghanaian, they must recall today, if the people of this country make mistake by not settling on Alan Chermantin, we will be coming here next year today and then be, 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 be crying over why we decided not to do what is right. In terms of how we have mismanaged the country, then this can also not take itself out. My brother, Sam George, are also part of the problem, he and his people. If you go to Article 80, 181, Three. What does it say? I would open this jar read. No loan shall be raised by the government on behalf of itself or any other public institution or authority otherwise done by or under the authority of an act of parliament. It is the parliamentarians, together with this on serious president and advice, that have approved the, all the loans that is killing this economy. Why did he run to the, the IMF? Okay. I don't think I want to finish. I'll respond. It was, we, because we opened most okay. of those loans. You know we oppose those laws. Ah, but, but it is in the name of the parliament. Look, when we petition parliament, that do not, for Christ's sake, for the sake of the unborn generation, pass Ken of Uriata, they willingly and grace, graciously pass him at vetting. So, but Ken of Uriata sat uh, on the same uh, meetings and then also alongside various uh, chaired meetings by Ken Dr. Of Baumia. Uriata and Baumia, they are, they, 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 are, they they are so incompetent. Team? And that is why... Ken of Uriata and who? Also, Baumia, so incompetent. That is why... And that we both agree. Are you, are you, are you always agree. That is why I said that, indeed, mm -hmm. it was needless for you to have drawn in the angle of Allah. You know very well that in this country, outside politics, of all the 12, and I'm, a, I'm challenging Ghanaians to evaluate all of them, their competences. Alan was known in the uh, private space before politics. In fact, in 1994, when the world was looking for the best 100 people to lead us into the future, the whole of this country had done Muhammad here. We had uh, done the Kunku for himself, who is now telling us that he knows who is better for us. He was here. The world did not mention his name. They mentioned Alan's name. When Nelson Madiba Mandela was looking for seven people to develop South Africa, only seven. Alan's name was seen. He helped build South African economy. So if today we are at a crossroad, we are with the IMF, things are so difficult. We have deferred all our uh, payments into future, and we are looking for someone to take us out. And Alan is seen. Why must you leave? And I will end by saying that we Alan does not oppose President Kufo in endorsing whoever he wants to endorse. So why did he but speak that any time that he endorsed anybody, we will push him to strict proof to tell us why he must defend his actions. Mm -hmm. Else it becomes in vain. Roland, first of all, the worst president we've ever had, the worst president we've ever had, okay, in the history of our Fourth Republic, is John Germani Mahama. Because for the first time in the history of the Fourth Republic, Ghanaians were plunged into total darkness for four solid good years. And finally, when all was said and done, he bedeviled us with uh, um, uh, take or pay, excess uh, uh, capacity charges, which the government would have to cough up millions of dollars to be paying for. Number one. Number two, we've had the worst there's president... A, there's a new bridge power plant. Or, 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 or on what Let terms me is make it? my point. Is it take or pay? Respectfully. When you were... Uh, Honourable was talking, oh. you kept quiet. Respectfully. No, that, that cannot be true. Okay. 
So again, the worst president we've had in the history no, of I'm our... I'm asking you, the, the, if, the, there's this even just a, a bridge power plan that was inaugurated. Roland, this is not fair. Can you just allow me to make my Was he also take up Okay, pay? at the end of the day, we had a president who, when the youth of this country were asking him, skilled youth of this country were asking for jobs, he told them he, he's not a magician to provide them with jobs. Okay? The, the former president once upon a time, that. once the, upon... The former president can, never said Can that. I finish making my point? Respectfully. Please, you will, not, you, you will time, not make untruthful statements. It's not untrue. It's true. The did former he, president did appear before yes, I know an, all an that interactive fact. program Did he make the GTV? point that he's not a magician to on, provide on, them with jobs if they don't have the skills? Did on, he say that? On GTV. No, and did said, he say... And said, and said to, to create jobs I hope and then to, to earn money back. is not... It's not through any form of magic. You Central have to go is sitting in a here on behalf of the NDC. No, no, no. So I, do, I don't want to interject you no. because I don't want no, to you, interject you. No, I'm saying that. Let me no, finish making my point. Interject. Just no. like when he was making his point. No, no, no. Sorry. Insulting so, so, the so, vice president or not. I kept quiet and then wrote them down. No, no, you see, okay. when you do that, I did not insult him. No, no, please. Whatever, no. whatever please, words please, you let's, use. Let's, let's so have some peace and quiet here. Okay, allow me to make my point. Okay, so I reserve the right. If you make a statement. I hope I'll get And the statement is not on the path of the straight and narrow to make those interjections. Uh -huh. And so I make those interjections. And it's not the first time on this very subject about magician and not so being a magician that are making mm. this. And I've, I've reiterated that. that. That is not what the former president said. I listen to him. The fact, that you, the, him. the fact that you have some George here doesn't mean that but, I cannot no, play my role adequately. Your, he didn't say he's not a magician. He didn't say that. That is what, what I'm say? saying. Please go ahead. What did he say? I've, 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 I've made my interjection. Please go ahead. Teachers worked in this country for more than two years and they were paid for only three months in this country. Okay, look, Sam George has the right to describe the vice president in whichever way he wants to. But the fact of the matter is that when we want the most effective vice president in the history of our fourth republic, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia stands tall. He was talking about the things that he has said and he couldn't do. Oh, come on, really? Let me also tell you the things that he said that he has done. Dr. Bamud Baumia said that Ghana card could be used to travel from abroad into Ghana. Is it true or not? Because I work with the Ghana consulate, and I have individuals who travel to Ghana. Maybe they, they, they have their passport expired or they've lost their passport. By virtue of the fact that they are holding Ghana card, they're able to travel to Ghana from the United States of America. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia once said that through mobile money interoperability, every adult Ghanaian will be able to have a bank account. The NDC said he was lying. Today, we have a wallet at least, more or less serving as a bank account for the good hey. people of this country. <laughs> Dr. Mahmoud Baumia said that government will introduce mobile money into probability between bank accounts and Momo accounts. Is it true or not? He said a lot of things, and as we speak, he has said, paragraph 63, about mobile money interoperability. that you'll be able to move your money from your mobile phone to your bank account, I mean mobile money wallet, to your bank that account. That policy direction had been there before the, the, the current vice president the came in. Mobile money, we are not talking about Momo. We are talking about mobile money interoperability, where you can be able to transfer money from your bank to um, your... I am saying emphatically that there was a policy direction for which even there was a contract in place. What the vice president did say was that the contract was bloated. That's what he did say. Did he champion it or not? I don't understand you because... Did, I, he, I, champion, I, did he champion you every can, you constituency? Can, you can say that he championed, Wait, but I'm saying that... But that's not exactly what I'm referring to. Did he champion that every constituency should have an ambulance or not? Did he champion that every district should have a set of earth-moving machines to be able to help them with their roads? These are the things that he has done because he was a vice president and he was given the opportunity to do that. What I do know for a fact, that among these uh, individuals who are contesting to become the president of the republic and Ghanaians should have the opportunity to vote for them December 7th, none of them is fantastically corrupt than former president John Jomani Mahama. This is somebody who the world Okay, three courts of competent jurisdictions, France, UK, and the US, have concluded that indeed his government official won. This is somebody who his president, his boss, constituted a committee to investigate him for perceived corruption in the purchase of an umbrella. So for me, clearly, if you want a character, an individual, and just like uh, Honorable Bagbin said, when you talk of leadership skills and qualities and character, President John Jomani Mahama doesn't have it. And going into these elections, Ghanaians are going to look into an individual who has a character, who has a track record of not being corrupt, and 
Ghanaians will come to the conclusion that indeed John Jomani Mahama is not somebody we should be. Are you talking about lies and dishonesty? There's somebody who said that free SHS is a desperate attempt by a, a, a politician to hoodwink us. Then later he comes back and says, I introduced free SHS. What is more dishonest than that? Somebody who once upon a time said that he doesn't have money to even build stadiums. Then on the same platform or campaign platform, he goes to another region and says, I'll get the money and build stadiums for you. So clearly, for me, Ghanaians do have a choice. As against a vice president, even though he's not a president, has performed creditably against a president who, when he had the opportunity, performed abysmally, and Ghanaians booted them out one and twice they booted them out again once again. And they will do so again in, in, in December 7th. 2024. Sam George, how do we get there? Well, let, let's let's just set the record straight. Maybe Kofi was living outside the country, so he didn't know. But let me remind you, Dumso didn't start with President Kofi, when you were speaking, when, when you were speaking, when you were speaking, you asked me a question. I didn't ask you a question. I said maybe you were living outside the country. France 98. In this country, under President Rawlings, we watched with power rationing. France 98, Mama was not president. In 2006, it's not because we had excess capacity that President Kufour lined up pastors to go and pray in Akosombo for rain to fall. It's because there was doom so. President Mahama did not have doom so for four years. In 2016, there was no doom so. It's simply because President Mahama took the bold decision to end our perennial problem of under generation to make sure we had enough installed and operational capacity to meet our peak demand. Today, you are talking about take or pay and saying that President Mahama saddled us with it. I mean, this is the dishonesty and insincerity on the part of the NPP. They are mirroring their flag bearer. Today, the bridge power plant and at least four other power agreements your government has signed are all take charges. or pay. They are all take or pay charges. agreements. So when you say that President Mahama saddled us with excess capacity charges because of take or pay Take, take, take and pay uh, arrangement. It's the same thing you are doing. How different are you? Take, so you see, you see when you sit there, when you sit there, there and you say that, and again, let's be clear. Baumia did not say Ghanaians can travel to Ghana with a Ghana card. That's not what he what said. Did, what did he say? I'm reading from City Newsroom. A story on November 2nd, 2021. And I'm sure you would have the same on three. Ghana card to be globally accepted as e-passport by 2022. You can look at my screen and see. Uh, that was later. He says, wait, to me. the Ghana card is said to be recognized as an electronic passport in 197 countries by 2022. The vice president, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, has disclosed. When I tell you Mahmoud Baumia is a dishonest, lying is politician. Because you don't understand what you just read. You understand me? Just make, because I can explain to you. No, no. How I am I was it? When I tried it, and I was nearly slapped in Dubai airport, you think you look. I went and showed my Ghana card, and I was nearly. You're a fine gentleman. If Baumia is sinking with his life, don't go there. He's, 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 he's with him. He's with him. Stop he's going with him. Okay, he's gentlemen, rising. Gentlemen, okay. can, can I make my point? He's not sinking. He's rising. Make, make, make uh, when Baumia said 197 oh, countries, in fact, they went ahead to say 44,000 airports would accept the Ghana card, you cannot use the Ghana card but, to but travel. Joe, as far as I'm concerned, that you cannot use it to mean you that cannot use the Ghana card to travel to Ghana. You can't use it, to to Ghana. You you can't use it at Togo. You can't use it from Ghana to travel with to Togo. Sky. Sky travels from Accra to Togo. You can't use Ghana card to travel from Accra to what Togo. So you see, when I tell you that Baumia is a scammer, he's a scammer, he's a con artist. Eh? Look, and they can sit here and say, oh, some judge is insulting. When they said Mahama was incompetent and called him all kinds of names, that one they said they were describing him. Today, when you describe them in the very way that they are carrying out their activities, then they say, boy, let me tell I'm you something. Let me tell you something. Baumia, again, and let me use this to corrupt, correct yes. President yes. Kufo. I want to present, correct President Kufo. It's not true that President Kufo was the one who brought Baumia to the Bank of Ghana. No, 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 it's not true. Baumia was picked as a research assistant and put in a research department by Dr. Kufo. Dr. Kufo, yes, yes, yes. It wasn't President Kufo. You so, didn't know him you see, <laughs> Baumia, Baumia's thesis for his PhD, that makes him doctor, was on the economic transformation of Ghana's economy under, under President Rawlings. Baumia, and I tell you that he's a dishonest person today turning around and talking about the NDC. You talk about interoperability. Look, again, I, like I said, you, there, when Sam George is sitting on a platform with you, there are certain areas you must be careful when you go. And you too. Listen, on the issue interoperability. Of the interoperability. He, First and foremost, he like said you said, he championed it. Wait, like you rightly said, 
there was a contract in place before Baumia came. One point but one even billion. before, again, you see, that's why I said you need to be careful. No, that I'm contract, asking you. That contract okay, was okay, at okay. zero cost to the taxpayer. Baumia came and paid five million dollars. That contract, you see, when you are doing contracts, let me explain to you. That's that my zero area. Cost to work? Let me tell you something. When you are running a contract and the contract is a BOOT, mm -hmm. and you say that the the contractor must fund the project and will get a percentage of revenue. What you then do is you calculate over a timeline, the 10 years BOT lifeline. What is the value of transactions? That is what was pegged at 1.5 billion, not the value of paying the contractor. The contractor will get a percentage it of that amount. It was a BOOT. You guys don't understand these things. And Baumia runs around and lies to you, no, and you no, come and no, vomit no, no. those lies. But listen, no. before Sam we even had, wait, 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 before Sam we even had interoperability. Sam uh -huh. In this country, in this country, in this country, you could send Roland, you were in this country, and Momo has been running for 15 years before Baumia even thought of becoming vice president. Yeah. Listen. They celebrate 15 years this yes, year. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And, and, and let me tell you something. Before interoperability, where we where the Bank of Ghana and that Abdul Nashiru Ishahaku started the interoperability platform, the telcos allowed you to transfer money. You could transfer money from MTN yes. to Vodafone yes. using a token. Yeah. So I will transfer to you. They will I give you a token. Code. You will use the token to go to the agent and, and withdraw the money. Well, he says he champion. How champion he was something that was already in existence before you why came. Why, why are you champion? not asking the relevant but question? But man did man did he how did he champion it? Then corruption. How did he champion it? Then corruption. He says that three courts in France, UK, and where? America said, Mama is GO1. And what did they say about GO1? Did they say GO1 was involved in corruption? The special prosecutor that Nanado has appointed said there is nothing wrong in, 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 in after engaging the FBI and the SFO of the UK. They found nothing wrong with Mahama. So identifying an individual in an investigation does not in, impose culpability or criminality. But when we talk about corruption, Baumia is corrupt. Baumia is nepotistic. Baumia has. I will give you that. Oh, I will call you. Let me give you. No, no, let me give you. No, let me give you. 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 Let me give is the epitome of corruption in this election. How do you make those scores? Baumia is not just corrupt, he's nepotistic. He's appointed his brother-in-law, his father-in-law, to po government positions. After doing that, and tell me that that's it. That's it. Hey. That's the appoint. Can I, can I continue? You end, no, end. No, but tell him to stop interjecting me. Like. No, it's okay. Baumia has taken contracts so sourced and given to his blood brother. Oh, how can he take the contract? Oh, so the brother, the brother so sourced so contract. contract okay. for his brother. Baumia, he used sat in his office and used allowed one of his aides to use his office letterhead to go and steal somebody's imported rice, rice, rice to go and distribute he your rice. Till today, so no, you are having fire to the top. Till today, till today, yes, today yes, that person is still in Baumia's office. office. Like said, okay. Okay. Right. Baumia right. is not just right. 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 corrupt, right. but he steals people's rice. Just conjecture. You are talking over each other. The Muslim who steals people's rice. The man stole rice to go and share for it. Yeah, I'm muted. That's about me as track record. Why are you talking about corruption? Yeah, I'm muted. The let me, let me just read a couple of messages. Your microphones are off. So, I'll read a couple of messages. I'll read a couple of messages. No, 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 no. You guys tone down. Tone down. No, tone down. It's just. Please tone down. Tone down. Tone down. Tone down. Tone down. Tone down. This election season, 3news.com. And as you know, is going beyond the headlines and stories to bring you more. So we have a special election portal bringing to you historical results, insights into Ghana's voting patterns, and all the election data that you will need, plus live voting updates on election day. So let me just surprise you. Our interactive maps and detailed analysis will help you stay fully informed and get all your now, election now, information. Now, now you why, and this is a portal, 3news.com <laughs> slash elections. 
So also log on to freenews.com right, slash right, elections right. for your one-stop you election portal and get the latest Shameful. update. We're just 17 days to this election. And, and so far, and so far please, please, please. Let me just, let, let me just read a call. Please, no more issues about government official one corruption. No, it's okay. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Andy, Andy says, if he's reading what Baumia did, then his presidential candidate Baumia should stop saying his ideas are not taken at cabinet meetings. So we should all vote for him. When did he say that? Okay, so um, build, build, own, operate, and transfer. It's a PPP arrangement, you say. Um, Niyama. Niyama is a is a is a journalist uh, like me, also a communication strategist uh, consultant. He says I like the chorus from Solomon Ousu when Sam George is talking. <laughs> and then also, and then and then and then and then, and then, and then, and then he says. You see what you are doing. And then Niyama also says good morning to you, Kofi Ameyao. They are greeting. They are greeting. They are greeting you. Hey, they are greeting you. Please don't make my work difficult. It's okay. Please. They are greeting you. They say Baumia is doing but they are greeting you. I have Gai G. Gai G Cantonment. I don't know why we assemble. Uh, Shadra, why did you assemble to this crew here? Uh, Gai G Cantonment Accra says. Mr. Alankojo Chamantin is a fantastic gentleman, and no doubt about that. He has always been dear to my heart. Personally, I love and admire him most. But truth be told, former President Kufo was supporting his party's elected presidential candidate and did or said nothing wrong. But we don't Mr. is not... He says, Mr. Chamantin is not a member of the MPP. So, Solo, this is a no, direct dig at you. Yeah, it's okay. Your mic, your mic is off. Your mic is off. Solo, your mic is off. Solo, your mic is off. We will critique his announcement. Osai Boateng, who is watching us live from Minshia, so Yimansi says, we have to be truthful. Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia is currently campaigning across the uh, areas in the Ashanti region, and you can see the massive support that he's getting. Okay. And that is why he's going to win this election. And then Maxwell Akabli says, if I were Baumia, I would have thrown in the towel because the defeat that is coming here, he can't stand it. If Kai is not taking the shock, he will experience will be dire to his condition. Maxwell Akabli, good morning to you. Can you read something from Aikau? No, you and, uh, and then, I want to read something from No, 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 wait, I'll let you read okay, it, you. please. No more corruption issue. Once you're no, not raising no, corruption. No, okay, okay, okay. Uh, get, 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 get. And then also, uh, I have uh, Rahim Awafo who says that, look, I've been looking for the Jomahama magician video. I've sent it to you. It's two minutes. I have two minutes uh, cut out of that interview. He never said anything about being a magician. I don't know why you allowed him to say, I think I did some correction. <laughs> Rahim Awafo, I don't know why you say that. And then also, I have a couple more, but... L can I read Sa that? Sa Sa just Sa 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 Sam Piyali says, I'm wondering how communicators of the MPP have tuned... I've been tuned for misinformation. All right. But, uh, no, Sam John, no, let's go. No, no, let's go. No, 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 no. Please, no, no. the mics are off. If the mics are off. I said I want to speak. Can I? Can I? I, can I, I so, so let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Then you can read that. No, no, please, the people are watching. And when you do this, it makes the work difficult already. Um, so, what's the latest on the uh, human and family val values uh, issues that, that are in court currently. Okay, just before I answer that, let me just read You are still Aikau. going to account. I just want to read Aikau because he said I don't Sam know anything about, about Ghana Card. Aikau is aware of recent and incorrect media reports claiming that Aikau has agreed that the Ghanaian ID card is equivalent to an e-passport. However, it is not Aikau's role to certify the use of a state's identity card for international travel in place of a passport. It is the sovereign right of each individual state to decide upon its entry and exit requirements and the documents that need to be presented by those traveling to and or from its territory. A number of states worldwide accept specified national ID cards as identity documents during air travel based on bilateral agreements between issuing and receiving states. Any decision to accept such alternative travel identity documents is made by the receiving um, state itself. 44,000 can airports is a lie that Baumia told. Now on the LGBTQ, look, it is clear that President Akufuado is part of the pro-LGBTQ cabal. Ah, what has he done? I'll, I'll tell you. President Akufuado is the one who granted an international interview and said to people, if you have enough advocacy in Ghana, you can then have LGBTQ in Ghana. A year later, they came and opened an advocacy office. When President Akufuado's father sent him to Oxford, he stayed with his cousin, the son of JB Dankwa, called Paul Dankwa. Today, there is a book 
that celebrates the hundred leading figures of LGBTQ and homosexuality in the world. Paul Dankwa is in there as one of those who is celebrated. In fact, the only Ghanaian who is celebrated. As we speak today, Paul Dankwa is buried by his gay lover, Akufado's cousin, is buried by his gay lover, a British man in Morocco. It was in his will that he wants to sleep, be buried next to his gay lover. That is the person Akufado stayed with in, 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 in Oxford, when he went to Oxford. It is for these reasons that President Akufado, when Kamala Harris came to Ghana in February this year and asked him about the bill, he, he, like Pontus Pilate, he washed his hands and said, I know nothing about the bill. It is some MPB. Thankfully, Kamala Harris has been sacked from the U.S. What has that with her to LGBTQ. With and President Akufuado and Baumia, who are afraid to speak on LGBTQ and take a position and take that stance, I have, have contracted the Chief Justice to use the courts to delay the Sam approval it is a of passing of that law. The, uh, the law. Dr. Baumia has publicly said that he doesn't support LGBTQ. Has issues. he criticized President Akufuado for not signing the bill? But the president is president. Ah. The president says president, the communication wait, 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 coming wait, wait, out wait, wait, of the president's wait, office wait, is that wait. they have Flagbera, taken Flagbera executive Mahama. notice no, 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 of actions Flag before Ghana's court as a result of that. They want those to be addressed before. Did the same Akufuado not take notice of actions that are still pending on Levy yet went ahead to sign it? It tells you that Akufuado cannot be stopped by a court case when he wants to. But this one, Akufuado is the one who sent Amanda Odoi and Richard Sky to court. Because Akufuado wrote to Parliament on the 4th of March telling us that there was a court case before the courts of Ghana. The court case only went to court on the 5th of March. How did the president know a day before that there was a court case going to court? We all know the relationship between Richard Sky and the current majority leader, Afenio Makin. So look, let me tell you, the Chief Justice herself is today acting as a cog in the wheel of justice. But like I've said to them, Mahama is a flag bearer. He has stated emphatically, the bill is my bill, keep quiet. He has stated emphatically. Please wrap up. It's not your he, bill. He, he has stated bill. emphatically. On behalf of Ghana. It, he has bill. stated Correct emphatically. Correct that statement. On, on, behalf, of, on behalf of Ghanaians minus Akufuado and Baumia. Because they are against Samuel, the bill. Please conclude for me so that I can go to Gusu. In fact, they changed yeah, Chairman Sam. You know, let me tell you something. Yeah. Part of the reason why That's Chairman Sam Bonsu, let me say it today. That's part of the reason why they kicked Chairman Sam Bonsu out as majority leader was because Chairman Sam Bonsu supported me to pass the bill. Chairman I'm telling Sambosu. you. Chairman yes. Sambosu told you that. I'm telling you, we're in Parliament. We know what's going on in Parliament. Because the, 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 the president came to parliament on the 26th of February. Look, and I'm giving you dates. 26th of February. And when he came, when he met leadership, he pleaded with them not to pass the bill. And two days later, we showed him that we are not a rubber stamp parliament. We passed the bill. Man. And because Che Mensah was, was instrumental, Che stood on his feet for two days, eight hours each day, to help us pass that bill. They kicked him out. So now the cases will be called, uh, well, we have 18th, right? The, 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 the Chief Justice is trying to delay for Akufuado to leave so he doesn't sign. Our children and their children will remember Akufuado as the man who lied to God that he will build him a cathedral. Meanwhile, he loves gay people and is supporting homosexuality and is against well, our culture. This is, this is, that is Akufuado's track yeah, record. Cannot this make is, those. The is, president has said that, you know, he, the, the president says that if there is a clarion call and the mass of public opinion, that's what he made internationally, and then says that personally he he doesn't. I, I think that we have to court. Oh, oh, so no, no, that's not right. You, you don't do that. You know, you want to come. Some justice here. Unless when it gets to your time, that you go back to your place. Now, 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 to our, uh, uh, due, due to our own editorial, our editorial, our coffee, 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 wait, coffee, wait, coffee, wait, coffee, wait, coffee, wait, coffee, wait, due to our own editorial policies, I will want to disassociate ourselves from uh, the comments that have been made in relation to the personal convictions of the president and then his uh, family relations and some of those... Uh, oh, they are statements of fact. The uh, president that that have been drawn by the member of parliament yes. for Ningo Pram, Pram yes. Sam George right here. The and president just cannot that as a professional. His own cousin and, uh, is you, Okay, you, you, you want to go before course, he does. Of course, if he goes and says something, no, 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 you no, come no, back no, again. No, no. Let me give first you three of all, minutes. First of all, three minutes. it is clear, it is clear for many thoughts that this bill 
okay, was in the interest of this country. Of course, and indeed, as, 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 as Ghanaians, our cultural values frowns upon these things. So we supported the parliamentarians who did that. But today... Why hasn't the president... Wait, said? wait, wait. Why are you, uh, but today, Sam George has made it clearly that it's a personal thing to him to go after the Ecuador's government, to bastardize the Ecuador's government, okay? Because the things that he has said, to the extent that he says that it is my bill, it is not your bill, Sam George. That's a very unfortunate statement you made. You are there on behalf of the good people of this country and the good people of uh, no, uh, Ningo Pram Pram. First of all, President Kufuadu has made it clear that he doesn't support the activities of the LGBT. He's not going to support or endorse, uh, or, uh, or endorse the, the gay marriage and all of that. The vice president, the leader of the MPP, has also said same. Okay, now we have an issue in court, which is legitimate. You are an honorable member of parliament. Somebody has sent an issue to the Supreme Court and a determination will be made. You talk about the fact that, oh, he wants to, President Ecuador wants to leave before. No, the decision will be made or judgment will be made December 18th. At that time, President Ecuador will still be the president of the Republic of Ghana. So what are you talking about? Clearly, the point is that Sam George is using this bill to come after the government, to just make the government unpopular, just like they've been using you all other means. You should sign the bill. Just, just sign it. Just like they've been really using like all other means. It. The issue is in court. The but issue is e is still in court. It doesn't matter. The I, issue I, I is in court. Is, is it not in court? No, is it not in court? Is Levy not in court? No, is it not in court? Is Levy not in court? Is it not in court? Ask him, is Levy not in court? The president not signed. You haven't. Please allow him. Please allow him. The issue is in court. A determination will be made by December 18th. At that time, the president will still be the president of the republic, mm -hmm. and you have the opportunity mm -hmm. to ascend to the bill to make it a law. Then let me say that you sat here, and I'm extremely, I have extremely, disassociated myself. No, no, it's not that. I'm talking about the Ghana card, which can be used to travel. You sat here to allow some judge, an honourable member of parliament, to lie to the good people of this country, and you said nothing about what, it. What There's nowhere. That uh, Vice President Mahmoud Bamiya said you can use your Ghana card to travel from Ghana. Oh, I, read, I read the story. Wait, okay. When did he say did that? I, like, I read the story when from did he say that? Okay. I, 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 so, no. oh. so, so categorically, oh. the first time the announcement was made, when, when did was he say that, that I can use Ghana's card the, to travel? The announcement that was made uh -huh. said that you can use the Ghana card to travel. But then I even made an interjection and said it was later amended to mean that you can use it to travel and then you allow him. from outside the country in country. That's, so did that's I lie about what Bamiya said? Let's, let's, let's all be categorical about that. I can't be Bamiya's classmate. He lie No, 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 please, please, please. No, don't, Sam, he's don't. trying to put me in the same but class I, as Bamiya. I hold the, personally, I hold a position you that the, the government policy is you can use the Ghana card to travel when you are so outside you Ghana, coming into Ghana, like, just in case you don't have your traveling documentation. Story. So, so that is the position I hold personally. Roland, uh, that's what you mean that you don't have LGBTQ. Do you think, do you think, ladies and gentlemen, it's my turn. No, it's my turn. No, 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 you cannot, you cannot deliberately, no, no, they want to destroy the program. No, 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 please, please, please. I allowed you to speak. I let me, it's my turn. Why? All right. Now go. He's calling you. I don't want to answer. I'll catch you because you want to destroy the program. Okay, okay, okay. It's 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 He's been there before. If Alan's team were still part of MPP, they would still be defending MPP today. They are saying the truth because they broke away from the MPP. And then also I have this one from uh, Kwesi Boateng who says that the president is only following due uh, procedure Barola, matter? when it comes to the LGBTQ issues. He says that he has taken notice of the ongoing court cases. As a result of that, he cannot go ahead and assent to a bill that has been approved by parliament. We should just wait. The 18th is just near. And I side with Ameyao, Kofi Ameyao. Thank you very much for the comment. I mean, two I minutes. Would, I, Sorry. I, I would have agreed with this, Tester, if there was consistency. We had E. Levy in court. The president went ahead to, uh, to sign. We had this in court. He decided to sign. But that notwithstanding. You, are, you think he's been inconsistent? Inconsistent. You say he's taking judicial yeah. notice. Let me put on or notice. Or perhaps executive notice. Or state emphatically that my candidate, Alan Chimantin, if they fail to sign, 
he would have sent to the president of the land by 12 o'clock he's as soon as he's phone in 1201 he will go and but sign the you, first of all, you won't be the president. number two he's it's, 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 it's unfortunate right that we voted for a very weak president and a weak vice president i don't understand because this decision not to sign was as a result of kamala harris and the Democratic Party put you in the fear of God. No, no, that is it. Um, Look, I'm we have you. been saved by Donald Trump. I can assure you that this case, the president will sign. Let me tell you, he will sign because he knows that if he does not sign, Allah will come and sign. And so he will sign, but he will only sign because Kamala that was hunting them. He and Baumia, these men allowed this woman to come all the way from the U.S. and they were going to her dictates. And that is why today you hear the Supreme Court say that 18, we know 18, it will be business as usual, and the president will sign, and Ghana will move on. I have my submission here. Okay. This one is coming from Nelson Akotia on our stream. He says, Roland, I was nearly arrested in Sweden when I tried yeah. using the Ghana card to come back home. The Ghana card is just... Uh, I, I think that we, we also have testimonies of people who have used the Ghana card to travel into Ghana. We have to be truthful. And, uh, the, uh, and then. This is education, and, and, and not politics. Please allow the host. I went there. So um, me you me you don't Please. work in an airport, you work in a consulate. Oh. The, gun, the travel is at when the airport. The Stop saying you work there. I mean, you, when, we're coming, when, when, when you were coming from America, did you come with a Ghana card? When you were coming from America, did you come with a Ghana card? You had allowed me to say that you had never traveled to Ghana with a Ghana card. If you are American in Ghana, tell him that's what we Ghanaians must do. Who would you America? 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 Who would you we're doing Ask him when Charlie, he traveled to Ghana with a Ghana card. Charlie, All the times he's come Charlie, from America, he's Charlie, come with a passport. Charlie, Charlie. He's come with a service passport. I even doubt whether he, he has any Ghanaian passport. No, he has a service passport. Service passport. Yes. No, 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 Charlie. 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 Good morning to you. Charlie. 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 I have passport. this one uh, from hey, you're busy in a diplomatic uh, Ted, passport. who says, if you live in a country where the elders can't speak the truth because of party colors, prepare for an inevitable doom. I've lost all respect for the former president. What he said, he should have just talked like a statesman. Um, this one, I'll say, hey, you see, I'll say, you see, he says, I'm texting you from Kofodria to be truthful. Development by the Ekufuado Baumia government is unmatched. It is the best government so far. And then my simple message this morning is that, um, Kufo no force for Alan. Your simple message, you could no force for Alan. No, he Star 439 hash, we have cash out. And uh, please make sure that you use um, option two when you dial star 439 hash. And then also increase the number of uh, tickets that you have so that you could be in a, a position as always to be able to win. But uh, where is the campaign trail so far? Where are you poking? We are in Kumasi now. We ah, in Kumasi. I talk about Miyato is in Kumasi. No, no we, we want to finish the job. But because they are not surviving in the Ashanti region, that is why they needed to draw in the former president, John Ejikun Kufo, to come and try oh, and save the situation. But unfortunately for former president Kufo, we have already taken the space and occupied in Ashanti region. Ashanti region. It is the stronghold of the MPP. They don't have any If you look at the numbers. It is not there. As a campaign it is a microfinance for them. So, for so, them. so, so I want that. again, the momentum is on our side. No Ghanaians are saying that there is a need for us to protect the free SHS. Which free SHS? And also to consolidate our gains. It is clear, obviously Article clear, 25, what that John Germani Mahama, God forbid, if given the opportunity, will cancel and abolish the free SHS. Who, and Ghanaians do not want that. Who said? I'm saying, and I'm telling you, okay, if Ghanaians make a mistake by bringing back John Germani Mahama, he will cancel and abolish the free SHS. Ghanaians need the free SHS. He has clarified they, that. They I, would want to protect it at I remember all the costs media interaction and consolidate our gains. The media, for that matter, they will vote for the MP. I remember the media interaction he had. He has always said emphatically. Sam, so just here. Even when you had reminded him what the, from, the president has said about the children are what involved in the free he, doesn't, he doesn't believe they don't, in that. They don't okay. take part in the free SHS. Going? The campaign is going very well. President Mahama is in the Eastern region, but let's be very clear about one thing. Ah. President Mahama is here to make free SHS better because he conceptualized it and started it in 2015. President Mahama will do four things. We're very specific. Four things to make free SHS better. First and foremost, we're going to complete our e-blocks to make sure that we abolish the double track system. Secondly, we're also going to introduce the free SHS into the private secondary senior high schools to ensure that we take advantage of the available classrooms 
end learning facilities in there once again to make sure that we end the double track system S thirdly we're going to break the stealing cabal that is in accra that has centralized the purchase of food and is buying gogomi infested rice and sending to our children we will make sure that we decentralize the purchase of food to the heads of schools so that they can make sure that our children get wholesome food fourth we're going to hold a conference Sam, there's of no gogomi infested rice that is who told you? Are you talking about the Mushosho scandal? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Thank God you know what it is. And then the fourth one is that we're going to hold a conference that's going to bring parents, teachers, students, and government to build a sustainable model and roadmap for free SHS. Mahama is here to end the double track. Mahama is here to end parents having to pay for extra classes. Mahama is here to end the poor food the that's given to our children. Mahama is not going to end free SHS. Going to, it's going to make it better. Today? Why are you going oh, today I'll be in the Sojaman constituency. I'm going to be there to support my brother Thomas Ampim. On mm. Sunday, my, we're in Somania. My, Somania my, was fire. Saturday, I was in Asawasi. My, my that was another, there. was something um, else. In the Sojaman. Yes, uh, he's a MPP parliamentary candidate. Who? Oh, uh, Pius. Oh, you mean the visa contractor? The, the, no, the, the, the one, the, 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 the visa contractor. Who is the visa contractor? Isaac Hughes from Tampa. Thank you for your message as well. Sam George who always give you a show down. And then also I have this one I have this one from um Papa Yenzu Kwisimin team practically tell me so I may out that uh all right and then we have a couple more. For those who have joined us on our stream we're grateful please make sure that um also you live I have a couple more it says um Opata, the Opata OS, says the OSP called the OSP called no, 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 no. the mother no. serpent of corruption. At the same OSP, the OSP. He said he, he said he's so corrupt that he would say so. Say so, Mensa. Good morning. I'm taking uh, notice of. He said the um, president. Uh -huh. Has appointed a new minister 17 days to election. I I I'm not too sure about that. And then also, um, Hesse Freeman, thank you for your message as well. For the others as well, I can see Ebenezer, um, who also has sent us uh, Hesse Freeman and Junior Corby, and says to Xilis Duane, watching us from the UK, and Nelson. All right, so let me also tell you about how you can have uh, a good beachy tiding and sandy joy this Christmas. You can do that by booking two nights and getting the third night free with all meals inclusive, starting from 6,000 Ghana cities for a couple. Package offered gets include free access to all in-house facilities, including swimming pools, and that's uh, when you visit the... Facilities for Maha Beach Resort, gym available, cinema, popcorn, uh, snooker games. Yes, Maha. Fantastic place. Fantastic place. It will place. be a place to go and celebrate the victory of your Maha. No, no, no. Allah will celebrate. Please move up. So they also have snooker games and entertainment. And then you can also enjoy free airport pickups from Takradi on weekends when you arrive. They have fun activities, including tour of their beautiful facility with a golf cart, splash playground for kids, bouncy castles, trampolines, among many others. They also take you on a joy ride to the Maha village. You also get to visit the beautiful and interesting historical town of Inzulezu, and then also Fort Apollonia, Ankasa uh, Forest, and then that Nkrumah Memorial House at Nkrofo. Make sure that by December 1st, you have booked and paid or you're on the, on the way of paying. And they're talking about also enjoying 10% discount. Just in case you want to make these bookings, call for reservations now. They, they have a line. So 030-3977773. They also have 050 you can also email the sm at maharesort.com. Social media always available for you. So read them on their website, mahabeachresort.com as well. Get the latest. We have cash out. It goes with a show called Star 439 Hash. Gentlemen, I wish you I wish you all the best. I wish you all the best for the campaign. We have 17 days to election 2024. We are your election command center. We're bringing to you a lot of goodies. Star 439 Hash, always available for you. You. What you mean, what's Choose option two. And as always, uh, Sam George, what show do you have? What show? Oh, yes, uh, 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 Friday. I'm inviting all of you. Uh -huh. 
I'm thanking God. You are thanking God. And so I'm doing a night of prayer, praise, and worship. Yeah. Ahead of Allah's victory. I'm coming. Ahead of uh, Inigo. From Pram Anglican Park. It's coming and again. And we are going to thank God for his mercies and commit the elections into God's hands. Absolutely. That all the macho men that they are training in the sanctuary to unleash violence, let the angels of God blind their eyes. And mm -hmm. let the angels of God deal with them mm -hmm. like they did to the Assyrian <laughs> army. And let there be peace. Before, during, and after. Absolutely. Always be peace. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So no. stop training the macho men. Stop. 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 We're taking a break. Thank you all for watching. Chairman yeah. Francois. Chairman Prosper also said that I should read a message to you as well. He says, uh, you had, did you have an encounter on TV yesterday evening or something? Yes. Oh, uh, uh, we're taking a break. Uh, we're, right. we're, 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 we're taking a break. We're taking a break.